direction do we want to head with this? Forward. Okay. Um, our normal policy for doing this stuff is we go out for bid for these companies. If we're going to look at doing it with someone such as Harry at least Vanderbilt, or if we're doing with other companies, typically go for bids. Now, I remember, Chris, when we did this and we brought Harry in prior to that, we did get bids on looking at different engineering companies. And I believe that's why police come in here. I could not find anything to document. I did look back, I found out to say that we went out and got a bunch of bits and put us to the line of police demand. But I believe we did. I do know this cost us some money to get to where we're at. If we start over, we yes. start over again. And then you then you've also got the wait time for somebody to go time. out there and analyze what we've got and come up with their ideas and, yep. and we so. did get this. Sure. We interviewed yeah. we yeah. interviewed we interviewed, we interviewed we several did. people. Yeah. yeah. I so, can't remember their names right off the top, but I know we did do some. Again, it comes down to how far do we want to go. I mean, Harry's advice is good advice. Get one under their breath now, take a look at it. Chances are we're probably not going to see it first. But get one out there, get it under them, and let's get moving on it. Or we take more time to put the whole entire plan together. Which, Harry, correct me if I'm wrong, but even if we pull one out in front of them, we can still go after these other grants, can't we? The waterways grants. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Can keep moving on all of them. You bet. Once we build this narrative, does it work for most all the grants? I mean, I don't, I don't want to say this the wrong way, but I want to pay you three grand every time we go for one. <laughs> Understood. Okay. No, um, and that's right. There's a part of that narrative that's going to work for any part of it. And yeah. If it's comprehensive enough. And the relationships are all important no matter which story you're going after it's the whole story you still want to tell so okay. and you'll help us put together grants for all of these different ones that are out there yeah yeah we we've, we've done them all okay so then that's the discussion we want to move forward to apply for a grant this round and get one in the event if you don't start the process now You'll be empty handed in 2015. So the process needs to start, and I am dead set against changing horses midstream. You have, because I, I, I have worked with multiple AEs, I'll tell you right now, God bless them, they all have wonderful ideas, and they'll come in and start all over again. So you're better off staying with what you got, you're better off starting the process right now. And with the eye to 2015, I think his advice to you was his, his, time, his timeline, his timetable was spectacular. Now, it's realistic. I do know, Ralph, you were part of the process action team. Hey. Griff. Sorry. I know you were part of this process action team yes. that did this. So I know you've had good involvement all along. Ronnie, you're the one that's new to this. And we were kind of hitting you with going out and spending money. Are you okay with this, Brent? Are you? I'm bored with what's going on. Then what I would like is a motion to spend up to three thousand dollars with at least Vanderbank to go ahead and start this project. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Any other discussion? It's the right thing to do for the people. If we're gonna do it, and if not, we find out and we can get these bathrooms fixed one way or another, because they need a ton of work. Uh, roll call vote, Debbie. Debbie Wright, yes. Ron Hall? Yes. Chris Hadley? Yes. Love Green? Yes, ma'am. Logan Hansen? Yes. Before we move on. Yes, ma'am. I, I guess I'd like to ask the board where they think they would want to start on this. I think as we do that, Chris, before anything is applied for, we will work with Harry to bring you back a plan because I, the way I understood it, his passport grant, which is different than the other one, would affect one area. Right. The big grant would affect the back area. Well, that, so you're leaning towards starting in the back. I'm leaning and, towards. And, and that's, yeah, that's leaning, one of my scenarios. The other one is to do the center and the yeah. front. Well, I'm leaning towards but, where the hundred to $150,000 that we have is going to be part. 
If because this, and, and again, from that seminar I was at, they talked very much about more construction than fixing up what we've let lapse. So if this is adding and building more sites, they're more apt to give you the money. If it's because we didn't maintain it, we just want to pave the roads that's there, they're not going to give us nothing. Okay, the only problem with that plan, yeah. and that's why I wanted us to kind of at least all of us give some thought to it, is that bathroom one and bathroom two and three are the ones, they're in the worst shape, and they're not in the back. Right. Well, he did kind of show some. He did. And he did mention the bathroom. He, he did hit the bathroom. Yeah. So let, let us put together a plan as to which route we're going to go. Which direction here, Chris? And then we'll have him back. And, and also the, the other thing I'd like you to keep in mind is yeah. rebellion from the campers. If we don't do the bathrooms early in this that. project, there's gonna be we could, yeah, we you might well, as well just buy everybody a shirt with a big target on the back. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Reinsman, the other, thing, the other thing, to be able to say where we're gonna start and everything, you really need to do an analysis of this because yes. you're going to want to continue your operation while you're under construction. And that is a parallel operation and a phased operation because you generate revenue off this campground. You don't want to shut it down for a season. No. That doesn't work. Um, and it gets real touchy when you do that because you're going to be building a facility to remove a facility. Um, I'm need, hoping we can do it over the winter. Well, we can't. Why we're shut down. Yeah. I, I hope this all lines up where it's you done can, over the winter while we're shut down. So that, I'm hoping that's not an issue. Yeah, and, and what, what ends up happening is when we built it, we had parallel facilities that we ran for a short period of time. And once we got the new facility up and running, then we were able to tear down the old one and then, and then take all the service lines out. It's a, it's a little bit tricky. It's a phase. phase thing that you got to do the timing is good but we have to do that to keep generating the revenue stream yeah so that's what i'm hoping but we won't move forward without you knowing which parts we're no, yeah. yeah. going to be a discussion we should have a little bit of a uh, discussion now so that people can think about it before yep. we get to that stage and your a and &E firm is going to be critical in guiding you through that process and telling you what is reasonable to bring in in our time frame yes okay we move forward with that then the next thing on the agenda is the cleanup days, and we decided to split the cleanup days. Instead of having two days back to back, we're going to do one day prior to Memorial Day, which would be May 18th, and one day after Labor Day, which would be September 14th, would be the two cleanup days. So, that's a good idea. Any questions or issues? Yeah. Go ahead. I did. And Tina. Okay, you're doing, these are Saturdays? These are Saturdays. Okay, he's normally open on a Saturday. Yep. How are you going to deal Perfect. with that? Same way, bring in your stuff. We're just going to have free dumping on Saturday. Well, have You'll have people that will be yeah. saving up their household trash to do it, you know? I'm sure they will. Okay, just so you're aware that that's going to happen because... But I think they said something about John had an idea on that. If it was a bag or something that looked like household trash, he was going to charge them. So. <laughs> that is what he did last year. That is what he did last year. He said it worked out fine, so I'm going to leave John in charge of that. Yeah. Right. Nobody so, argues with John. No, no. That's John's right. Right. John's on. John's got it. He knows the difference and he'll accept what he right. accepts. That's right. Right, that horse. Any problems with those two dates other than that? That's How long is it going? Just the hours that he's open? I think we'll go eight hours. Is it eight hours that he's open on Saturday? We'll go eight hours. Yeah. So eight to five. Eight to five. Which is actually nine hours. Nine hours. Nine. Eight to five. Can't leave him in charge of the situation. Then tell him he can take lunch. Oh, I'll go and relieve him. Okay. I'll spend one hour with him. I gotta get that right. Get that right. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> uh, the last thing I have is exactly as Harry said today, before any money probably comes into here, we're looking at roughly two years. That's what I'm thinking for any projects. Now, Bob and me did went out and talked to several different people. The one bathroom, the paint, we went in there, the paint is flaking and falling off the walls. I mean, it's a mess. They need to be sandblasted and repainted. 
Just that improvement alone, I think, will tide some people over in that campground. You know, and it'll look like we're doing something to the bathrooms because that is the biggest complaint that everybody's got here. Went out, only one person submitted a bid for the sandblasting. It was for $975. That's for three different buildings to come in and sandblast off, and Bob and Rita will do the thing. I don't have a problem with sandblasting. I don't have a problem with the painting. What are you going to do about the plumbing in number one? Isn't that the one that every year we come back with problems and we got to replace <coughs> this? I'm pulling some of the floor out of number one, but that's not going to solve some of the drainage problems. The shower drains are rotten too. So yeah. I'm just going to have to put up with it. Keep back just gonna, up. Yeah. I'm just going to have to keep. That's why I think how much fun us mm -hmm. to start. Yeah. Now, to oh, yeah. fix this because know, but whatever decision we make to do this, this man's got to limp along for three years band aiding things as we go. That's unfortunately the reality of, of his life. I guess what I'm trying to say is that I would like to see if, if we're going to sandblast and paint the bathrooms, are, is there any plumbing that you're going to have to replace before we do the painting and, and fixing up? As far Especially as the showers, the we're just doing the showers. So I'm no. just talking about the pipes that are always rotting on us, and then we get the bad water testing. Really, underground there on the drain pipes, I don't think there's anything I can do with it, other than just pulling it right out of there. I, I really don't know that will solve this. <coughs> okay, no. as long as it's not going to be no. The one thing spend, I can do spend the time is, fixing it. is the women's toilet. The pipes are misaligned, and there's roots in them. That one, I'm going to take the floor out. Cut the floor out and repipe re that toilet section. That's just one band aid. Then the other is the shower drains. They're really bad. Okay, so are you going to do 1947. that? 1947. They've outlived their design usefulness. <laughs> yeah, I'm say, <laughs> if your line was oh, this big back then, it's like that. Yeah, it's, 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 yeah, it's like the price on that. Yeah, it will ask. Why not? really big is it? Big. It's like a trailer. Yeah. It's quite a fancy little facility, and I think it's quite expensive. It is but a trailer. Like, huh? It is a trailer. Yeah, what is that big trailer to rent that? You know what? I don't know what the rental cost is. Um, we were talking to them about it's a lot. bringing it's one up um, for national. It's a, it's a combination shower and bathroom trailer, yeah. right? They charge hundreds of dollars a day. Like 300 yeah. a day last it's time. Expensive. I looked into it. So let us look at that. I mean, there's some, this will not affect what he wants to do the sandblast and paint the inside. It will not affect okay. what well, that's my concern. Yes, whether no, he's going to no. sandblast and paint it get all really nice and then, and then cut it, it all in there and rip it but all out. To, but Chris, you're well, absolutely you are, right. I, I am hoping. Along I, with the painting, he's going to end up doing something when Chris is saying just out of normal course. Well, and and, and, and we do hope here. that within two to three years, we're ripping down the whole building after we paint it. I mean, that's how much going on. But this is just something. To yeah. make it look better in there, so improve a little bit. Yeah, it would be nine hundred and seventy-five dollars to do the sandblaster. So that's all three that does that include the that's all three bathrooms, and they'll clean up their sand, and then Bob's got to go in and paint it. Yeah, right? and what yeah. else is going to run through the paint? Oh, going to buy it five gallon buckets. That's a good price. I don't know if I can get that kind of paint five gallon buckets because I do it all with oil based. Um, yeah, it's twenty-six dollars a gallon. But that money we've got in fifty three hundred dollars. And we've got that in the campground maintenance. Yes. Okay. And, so, so you're looking for a motion? I'm looking for a motion to spend up to a thousand dollars. I'll second. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, Lonnie Hall? Yes. Debbie Wade, yes. Golf Queen? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes. Um, one thing we did not do, the $3,000 for Fleece and Vanderbilt, I believe that should come out of the capital outlay for the campground. Mm -hmm. So I just want that to be part of that motion, if that's okay with everybody. Ralph, make the motion if he amends it. Um, I'll make the motion. There you um, go. But that comes out of the capital outlay. I will amend my second. Okay. Okay, so that's all cool. the motion. Yeah. Okay, we're back to the last public comments of the meeting. 
Does anybody have any public parliamentary comments? procedure? You should revoke that amended portion. Okay. We get All by. in favor? We get by with a little help from our friends. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye.